So this haunt was a haunted trail, a haunted house, and a haunted creek. So it was a three for one right there. Right. Yes, it was. It was free. It was a home haunt. It was a home haunt, yes. Right. And we waited a long time. It was cold that night. But and I was kind of like, oh, no, is this going to be worth it? But, but once we got it? in there, oh, definitely. I would wait again. <laughs> I would. Yes. It was very And what good. was it that you liked about this particular haunt? And were there any specific things that popped out? Yes, there were Because I could things. think of one for me, but... Yes. Well, you're walking outside, and look, they and you kind of get guided at first, but then they let you walk. Of course, there. I mean, there's things just like actors behind trees that jump out at you and scare you. But the one thing that was unique to all of the everything we've seen so far along the creek, there's actually a live actor in the creek, and he had to be freezing because it was very cold that night. In costume, coming out, you know, coming up and 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 acting in the scene. And I've never seen anything like that where someone's actually in the water, you know, outside. You know, coming at you. Yes. So yes, that, that was, was unique. And it was excellent. And surprisingly enough, we were where we were waiting. You could see a lot of what was going on. You couldn't see people jumping out and things. But surprisingly enough, we didn't hear or see anything about this guy before we walked through. So right. it was a complete surprise. Right. And at first and he wasn't moving. No. So we didn't know if he was real. What was excellent about that part of the scare. And mind you, this is before you even get to the haunted house part of it. There's a house that you're going to, too. Yes, that, that was actual answers. And... This guy was laying half in and half out of the water, face down. And he was holding a skeleton, like mm -hmm. three quarters of a skeleton from the torso up in one hand. And he looked like a prop. Prop, he was I laying thought there, it was a prop. Face down. Mm -hmm. Then, as you walk by, he stands up and starts walking backwards into the water swinging the skeleton back uh -huh. and forth in front of him like he's going to eat it. Uh -huh. It was the coolest thing. Yes. And he was so creepy looking. He was very creepy. I was fascinated just to see this guy, and he must have been freezing. So that's dedication there. Yes, that is dedication. I have to mention one other thing about the haunted house. And as far as a lot of these, you know, pay, well, not so much pay haunts, but a lot of the haunts have children. You know, they're part of the act and everything. And, and they, I mean, they're excited and it's great. But I have to give a, a, an honorable mention to a, a creepy child in that haunted house and it was scary another village of the damn moment <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was like man, that little, it, it was like oh he was like two years old and he was dressed in the costume and oh my gosh i couldn't believe it like, yes whoa and he was the last part of the, <laughs> the last part of the and haunt he was so small it. he's so small he was sitting on a little stool yeah and he was crouched and he looked tiny he looked like two feet yeah, tall I know. on this and he had this weird high bo voice uh -huh. and then the very last thing when i walked out of the haunt because i said how creepy he looked he yeah. jumped out at me behind the door mm -hmm. he came out from behind the door and made some comment which i thought was very amusing and and, and kind of creepy at the same yeah, time like two years a little old. kid but he yeah, was really into, into it, it. And, i have to give credit to yeah, that definitely. that was excellent